The LG G Flex 2 was an interesting smartphone, with its curved form factor and material that would automatically heal scratches. Mark III should be more interesting still, with a rumored metal body and premium design. Expect the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 and 4GB of RAM inside, plus 32GB of expandable via microSD storage. Leaks suggest there will be a 3500mA battery, a fingerprint scanner, and 20.7 MP cameras. Although the LG G Flex 3 has not yet been officially confirmed by the company, we expect it to make an appearance in early 2016, probably at C's 2016, with a price tag a touch over 500. The LG G Flex 2 was an interesting smartphone, with its curved form factor and material that would automatically heal scratches. Mark 3 should be more interesting still, with a rumored metal body and premium design. Expect the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 and 4GB of RAM inside, plus 32GB of expandable via microSD storage. Leaks suggest there will be a 3500mA battery, a fingerprint scanner, and 20.7 MP cameras. Although the LG G Flex 3 has not yet been officially confirmed by the company, we expect it to make an appearance in early 2016 probably at C's 2016, with a price tag a touch over £500. The LG G Flex 2 was an interesting smartphone, with its curved form factor and material that would automatically heal scratches. Mark 3 should be more interesting still, with a rumored metal body and premium design. Expect the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 and 4GB of RAM inside, plus 32GB of expandable via microSD storage. Leaks suggest there will be a 3500mA battery, a fingerprint scanner, and 20.7 MP cameras. Although the LG G Flex 3 has not yet been officially confirmed by the company, we expect it to make an appearance in early 2016 probably at C's 2016, with a price tag a touch over £500. The LG G Flex 2 was an interesting smartphone, with its curved form factor and material that would automatically heal scratches. Mark 3 should be more interesting still, with a rumored metal body and premium design. Expect the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 and 4GB of RAM inside, 